covered by snow in an empty parking lot near Pearson. This vehicle has been sitting here for months and its owner would like it back. The woman from the U.S. facing a hefty bill and a strange side effect of pandemic travel rules. CTV's John Musselman explains. The Park to Sky lot on Dixon Road is closed, but there's a vehicle here that is attracting a lot of attention, a Honda Element with Michigan plates. I mean, my hands are tight. I can't cross the border. Kim Richardson is the owner. She lives in Port Huron, Michigan, across the border from Sarnia. Richardson parked in this lot before flying to Europe from Pearson Airport last March 11th. Ten days later, the Canada-U.S. border was closed to all non-essential travel. Richardson eventually flew back to Detroit, but she had to leave her car here. It has been sitting here ever since. She claims the lot owner wants $2,800 before she can have it back. I, I'm not paying what above and beyond what my car is worth in order to get it out of his lot when it's obviously not, um, not costing him any money being there. CTV News contacted the parking lot owner today. He did not want to give his name, claiming this story has led to threatening and harassing phone calls from strangers. He says Richardson only contacted him a month and a half ago. He says the bill for parking the car for 11 months is $2,000, not $2,800. He disputes her version of the story. He says Richardson should hire a Canadian tow company to bring it to the U.S. border. Um, I know some people have suggested, why didn't I just take a flight over there, but... Um, I have a newborn baby, he's three months old, so, you know, for me to expose myself to COVID, possibly to COVID, by taking a flight and then bringing it home to my family is not worth it, if that makes any sense. Richardson says she may get a local towing company to do just that, but she has no intention of paying $2,800. I think he's just, he's, he's being difficult, and I... That's, I guess, that's my opinion. In the meantime, her snow-covered car will stay right where it is, the lot is currently closed. There are locks on the front gate. John Musselman, CTV News.